Okay, so welcome back to uh, this video on the beta distribution. In this video, what we're going to do is see some specific examples of uh, beta distribution. So the first one we're going to start off with is A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1. So let's say that we have P, which is distributed beta 1, 1. Okay, and that means that the probability density function on the interval 0, 1 is going to be equal to some normalizing constant, which we'll have to work out, x to the power of a minus 1, so a is equal to 1, then we subtract off 1, and then times 1 minus x to the power of b minus 1, which is 1 minus 1. So basically, we get c times x to the power of 0 times 1 minus x to the power of 0. Again, we're only talking about the open interval on 0 to 1, so um, we don't need to worry about the fact that we're going to get 0 to the power of 0 here, or 1 minus 1 to the power of 0, which is again 0 to the power of 0 here. So basically, whatever number you put in there, x, which is an element of the open interval 0 to 1, both of these powers are going to, a bit, when you take any number in uh, the open interval 0, 1 and plug it into these things, you're going to get some non-zero number to the power of 0, which is just 1. So this comes out to be a constant. Okay, so uh, our uh, probability density function, therefore, looks like a constant on uh, the int open interval 0 to 1, and then it's equal to 0 elsewhere, so it looks like this, basically. Now, what constant integrates uh, to 1? Well, uh, we know this. Uh, the integral is going to be the area of that uh, rectangle under there, and the height we need to make it in order to make the area is equal to 1. Now, you might think, surely we could make it negative 1, and the area of that square would still be negative 1, but remember the integral will ascribe a negative area to that, because it's under the x-axis. So, in fact, negative 1 won't do. So, it, it, c strictly has to be 1. So, we see, basically, that beta 1, 1 is in fact the uniform distribution, is equal to the uniform distribution on the interval 0, 1. Okay? Brilliant. Uh, so, uh, that's how, uh, what, when I said that the beta distribution was in some sense a generalization of the uh, uniform distribution, that's exactly what I meant there, that, um, that, the, um, that if you take beta 1, 1, uh, a specific example of the family of beta distributions, then you get the uniform distribution on 0 to 1. Okay, so let's see another example now, so we'll do it down here. Right, in fact, is that going to be enough space? We'll have a go. Right, so another... Uh, important example is the example of um, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So in that case, p is beta distributed to 1. Okay, so let's work out what the um, probability density function on the interval 0, 1 is. Well, it's going to be some normalizing constant, x to the power of a minus 1, so x to the power of 2 minus 1, times 1 minus x to the power of uh, b minus 1, which is 1 minus 1. Again, because we're working on the open interval 0 to 1, uh, no num any number that you plug in here will give you a non-zero number down here, and then when you take it to the power of 0, it will just go to 1. So we can omit that. Then we get c times x, basically, because 2 minus 1 is 1. Right, so now what we've got is some linear function defined on the open interval 0, 1. So we've got something that looks like this here. And we just need to work out what do we need to make that normalizing constant, i.e. how steep do we need to make this line in order to make sure that the area underneath that is equal to 1. Well, we could integrate this, but it's far better just to uh, work with the area of the, well, it's far easier just to work with areas of triangles. So what is the area of this triangle here? Well, it's going to be the base, the length of the base, which is just 1, times the length of the height of the triangle, well, the height of the triangle. Now, what's the height of the triangle? Well, if we evaluate what the function is at 1, then we just stick in 1 to here, so the function becomes c, and therefore the height of the triangle must be c. So, if we want the area of that triangle here, so let me just highlight it, this area here, uh, then it is uh, the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle divided by 2. So 1 times c divided by 2. So we get that the area of the triangle is going to be c over 2. So if we want uh, the triangle to have area 1, then we set this equal to 1, and therefore we get that c needs to be equal to 2. So we get that this function overall is going to be 2 times x. Okay, so there's one pr uh, another example of a uh, beta distribution. Okay, right. Now, example three, let's have a is equal to a half 
and b is also equal to a half so this is going to be, get a bit more scary now uh, so uh, the uh, probability density function for this uh, random variable and I'll just put that p is beta distributed a half half the probability density function for this random variable on the open interval 0, 1 is going to equal the normalizing constant times x to the power of a minus 1, which is a half minus 1, times 1 minus x to the power of b minus 1, which is again a half minus 1, and this will give us cx to the negative a half times 1 minus x to the power of negative a half. Right, which you might like to write c over the square root of x times x minus 1. Right, so let's have a little think about what this looks like. This basically is going to blow up as x approaches 0, and it's also going to blow up as x approaches 1, because when you put in something closer and closer to 1, this term x minus 1 is going to get closer and closer to 0, so that's going to blow up. So, this as a function, as a graph, is going to look something like that, basically, uh, where we've got an asymptote at 1, and we've got an asymptote at 0. But of course, remember that the probability density function from 0 onwards down here, and from 1 upwards down here, is uh, 0, uh, defi definition by definition. Okay, uh, so you can attempt, you can attempt, if you like, to try and perform this integral. Uh, you will struggle a lot. Uh, so, uh, instead of actually calculating the normalizing constant, what instead we will do is we'll cheat. We'll say uh, that uh, the normalizing constant is whatever you need. We we'll basically will just use the formula that we had before. So, we're going to say the integral between 0 and 1 of c times the square root of x, x minus 1, dx, it needs to be equal to 1. Therefore, ergo, if we just pull out the normalizing constant, it's going to be 1 divided by the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over the square root of x, x minus 1, dx. And we'll leave it like that, basically. That's what the normalizing constant is. If you can work out that integral, then you can work out what this c value is. Or, if not, we could um, use some numerical methods to, um, to um, get something very close to this. Or indeed, you could probably, um, with nowadays, with your calculator, you could probably just stick that in on your calculator and it'll drum out some numerical method and get you something very, very close to the answer to that.